So Julie, my final question for you is in terms of this hybrid work that we are in, and we talked about in the previous video that one of the strategies for employee engagement is to provide flexibility. And I believe a lot of people want that flexibility. Maybe like, let's say once a week, I want to work from home, or if I have something important happening, I can still work from home or I can do something with my daughter or family member and then work later hours. So they want that flexibility going on. But what are the downsides from the company or from the managers and how can they manage or giving flexibility to everyone or there should be a straight rule once a week or what are your thoughts about this, new, uh, the new hybrid work that we are going to face now? Yeah, I don't think that there's probably a one fits all, one size fits all sort of mm -hmm. solution here at all. Um, I think each organization needs to look at the nature of the work that's being done, the nature of the workplace. So I would be reluctant to, to offer one solution or a prescription. I guess what I would mention is that organizations um, that are sorting this out and offering greater flexibility, first of all, kudos to them because it's not easy. Yeah. Um, but secondly, the one thing that we need to really be attuned to is the possibility of proximity bias mm -hmm. when it comes to these hybrid workplaces, because it's natural that the folks that a manager sees frequently who are in the office all the time may get more attention, may get, uh, you know, just be top of mind. Whereas folks who are working in a hybrid way or completely remotely may find themselves uh, a little bit out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. And do you think that kind of, if you are in, this, in, in, the, in front of the manager all the time, you might get promotion or more insights than people working in home? Yes, there's some data that might suggest that that's the case. And again, not through any conscious effort on the part of the manager. It's just we naturally you know, pay attention to what's around us. And so managers really have an opportunity and probably an obligation right now mm -hmm. to really take a look at their behavior, to really raise their awareness yeah. of how they may be treating different employees differently yeah. and make sure that they're setting consistent expectations, that they're making data-driven decisions, that they're consciously seeking out the perspective and making connections with folks who aren't necessarily in the workplace with them in order to even the playing field mm -hmm. and ensure equity when it comes to, to the opportunities within the organization. Those are great tips, Julie. I really enjoyed the conversation. And with that, my interview comes to an end. Again, thank you very much for taking the time to ask you these questions, which will be very beneficial for employers and employees and sometimes some job seekers. So uh, again, thank you very much. And for the audience watching or listening, tune in next time for other great guests I'm preparing for you guys. So keep in touch. And thank you again, Julia. And bye, everyone.